Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, I'm gonna to look at one of the mid-ranges from the MVP lineup that doesn't get a lot of love, but I think it should. It's the Paradox. Let's go. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Today, I'm gonna to look at the Paradox, which is an understable mid-range that gets a lot of hate online, but I think it's a very useful mid-range and I think a lot of you guys can find a lot of use out of it. So let's check out the paradoxes that I've got. I just weighed these. They're all in a 178, 179 gram category. So very similar. So we have a total eclipse paradox, which I got from the space race. I also have a lab second eclipse paradox that I got in my gyro palooza box. And I've got some cool neutron ones that I'm gonna try out here. Got a nice little stamp on that one and then another special edition, and then just your normal little stock stamp paradox here. So right there, you can see the numbers, five, five, negative four, zero. So this thing is not lying, it is understable. So you just gotta know how to use it. So let's go test these out. All right, gonna start with the Eclipse ones first. Not gonna throw them super hard, just nice and flat. Oh, look at that, lots of turn. No fade. That's a paradox for you. There we go. Very similar. All right, now we're gonna go to the neutrons. All right, so that is giving me exactly what the numbers say, five, five, negative four, zero. So now that we know that, let's put it on some hyzers. All right, giving a shout out to my Vessi Stormburst shoes. We had about two inches of rain this weekend out in the field, super soggy. My feet are nice and cozy and dry, and the grip on these things are amazing. If you guys haven't checked out my disc golf shoe review video, you should go check that out also got a link in the description if you guys want to get an extra special gift with your Vessi order. All right, so all these 178s pretty much flew exactly the same. So we're just going to go to testing these out on different lines. Now, if you threw your Paradox and you got just a nice straight, maybe a slight S turn that kind of came back flight out of it because you got a slower arm speed, then that's great. This disc is perfect for you to hit those nice straight lines. But if you're getting a Paradox to flip over very easily, kind of like mine, then you need to do something special with it to get it to fly how you want. Okay, we're gonna try throwing some lines. We're gonna try putting it on different angles of hyzer. We might even try doing some anhyzers and see if we get some rollers. All right, we're gonna try it on a pretty severe hyzer. There we go, nice flip up to flat, get a little drift. There we go, that thing bombed. That is a max flight flight out of a Paradox. I just love it when discs do that. All right, now we're gonna go with our Space Race one. I'm gonna try to actually put this on a little bit of an Anheuser, see how it is as a roller. Get down, stand up, nice roll, check that out. Flips over, lays down nice and flat. I mean, guys, it's fun to do some lines like this. If you haven't figured out how to do rollers, flip up to late turn, hyzer shots, you guys gotta get some of these Paradox. All right, one of the best tools for throwers out there who are not able to throw 400 feet, maybe you're maxing out at 300 or you're not quite getting to 300 yet, is getting a disc just like this. Getting a nice flippy mid-range, you should be able to get to a point where you can get this 250, 300 easily. You don't need drivers. You just need to take these out, work on your form, work on hitting those angles, and you guys, I'm sure, will become a better player if you just do that. Put away your time lapses, get some paradoxes. All right, so all these paradoxes are very consistently flipping up just about the same. Let's go throw them some more. Let's pop them out there, see how far we can get these to go. All right, doing more of a hyzer angle this time. Here we go. Flip up, oh, I love that, and it still turns. All right, so I can put some more hyzer on it. Flip up and it still turns. And I got some fade to it, but did you guys notice how much of a hyzer I had on that thing? 
Whew, that was fun though. Flip all the way up, drift straight. What a fun shot. Flip all the way up, drift dead straight. Wow, that thing is crushed. I'm just gonna do a nice little standstill, which those of you with lower arm speeds or you're still beginners, this is gonna kind of demonstrate a little bit of the power you're getting out of it when I'm taking my legs out of it. Slower arm speed beginners, you're gonna get a flight that's gonna be very similar to that. Just dead straight, slight little turn to it. I mean, that's what you want. I challenge some of you guys, get a hold of some of these understable discs. I love understable mids. They're such good discs to just kind of go out in the field and work on different angles and then take them into the woods. Try popping them on these little hyzer lines and weaving through the trees. You guys will be amazed how these discs will do. You hear people talking about the parting lines. So right here, this is the parting line of the Paradox and notice how close that is to the bottom. So when the parting line is so low like that, that lets you know it's gonna be more of a flippy disc. The Detour, I did a review on this one. Check it out up there. Okay, notice the parting line's a little bit higher. It's not quite as low to the bottom there. So that means this is gonna be a little bit more stable, not quite as stable as the Hex, but it's gonna be a little bit more stable than the Paradox. So you see the parting line there, the Hex is nice in the middle. Let's everybody know that this is gonna be a dead straight disc. All right, just to show you guys what a fun disc this is, we're heading down to this basket over here. We're gonna pretend like this is the right side of the fairway. This is the left side of the fairway. So we can't go over here until we go through this gap and then try to get a disc to turn to the right. So I'm still gonna have to put it on a little bit of a hyzer and then try to get it to drift. Wow, totally didn't get enough turn on it, but you see what a nice flight that was on that? There we go, drift over. Come on, baby, come on, baby. Park it, get in the hole. I don't know how close that was, but it literally looked like I'm under the basket. Well, I didn't exactly park the basket, but what a fun shot. Guys, I know the overstable discs get a lot of love, but understable discs is where it's at especially once you get a little bit older and you're kind of tired of injuries. It's fun just to get these flippy discs out, work on throwing some different angles, setting up scenarios like I did with those telephone poles is super fun because once you get out in the course and you need to manufacture a shot like that, you can go, wait, I got a disc that can do that. If you want to pick up a Paradox, use my codes in the description, get yourself a discount. All right, until next time, peace out.